very very cool today we are going to take lesson two it's also about fractions but we are going to take more points on fractions let's start together first we are going to know what are the types of the fractions what are the types of the fraction we have three types we have three types first type is proper fraction proper fraction what is the proper fraction Proper fraction is a fraction that its numerator is less than its denominator, like this one. I have 3 fourth. As can you see here, 3, the numerator, is smaller than 4, the denominator. So, when the numerator is smaller than the denominator, it's called proper fraction. And we have to know that any proper fraction is smaller than 1. Any proper fraction fraction is smaller than 1 and don't forget that. The second type we have is the improper fraction. Improper fraction. We will have the opposite. The numerator is greater than the denominator. As can you see here, the numerator is 5 and the denominator is 4 and 5 is greater than 4. When the numerator is greater than the denominator, it's called improper fraction. And any improper fraction is greater than 1. So the proper fraction is smaller than 1 and the improper fraction is greater than 1. The third type we have is the mixed number or mixed fraction. What is the mixed number or the mixed fraction? I have both whole number and a fraction together. And this fraction is proper fraction. Let's see example. Here I have. 3 and 3 is the whole and then proper fraction. So when we have a whole number and proper fraction together, it's called mixed fraction or mixed number. How can I read this mixed number? I'm going to say 3 and 1 quarter or 3 and a quarter. Okay, let's take some important notes. Any mixed number can be written as improper fraction. Improper, not proper, improper fraction. How? Here we have 2 and 1, 9. And I want, and this is a mixed number, because we have a whole and a proper fraction. And I want to convert them into an improper fraction. Now, what I'm going to do, first step, I'm going to multiply the whole number with the denominator. 2 times 9 equal 18. Next step, I'm going to add 18 plus 1. 18 plus 1. So I'm going to make two steps. Multiply plus. Multiply plus. 2 multiply 9 equal 18. And 18 plus 1 equal 19. And this 19 is the new numerator for us. So we got... 19 over 9 the denominator doesn't change the denominator as can you see here doesn't change 9 and 9 just the numerator has it changed and we got now what an improper fraction how can we do the opposite convert this improper fraction into a mixed number how can i make it this how can i make it 10 over 3 means 10 divided by 3. So I'm going to divide 10 by 3. Divide 10 by 3. 10 divided by 3 equal. It's not in table 3. Okay, we are going to make long division. 10 divided 3. I'm going to write table 3 until I reach the uh, closest number to 10. I will put 3. And I will have a remainder which is 1. Because... 3 times 3 equals 9, and I have 10, and the difference between 10 and 9 is 1. So first I divided 10 by 3, and then the quotient is the whole number, or the result is the whole number, and the remainder is the new numerator, and the denominator doesn't change. How can I say this number? It's a 3 and 1 third. 3 and 1 third. Let's see some exercise. Convert into improper fraction. First one, 3 and 5, 7. Huh. What I'm going to do again? Boy plus, boy plus. 3 by 7 equal 21. 
and then 21 plus 5 equal hmm, 26 excellent so by first then plus 3 by 7 21 and then 21 plus 5 equal 26 this is the new numerator and the denominator doesn't change so we got 26 over 7 26 over 7 next one 11 and 3 fifth uh, again by plus 11 by 5 then I then I'm going to add the result of them to 3 11 times 5 equal 55 and 55 plus 3 equal 58 this is the new numerator and the denominator is still the same so we got 58 over 5 next one 15 and 13 halves huh. we are going to multiply then plus 15 by 2 equal 30 and 30 plus 13 equal 43 this is a new numerator so we got 43 over 2 okay another exercise 6 and 3 fifths huh. 6 times 5 30 and 30 plus 3 33 the denominator doesn't change 33 over 5 5 by 5 25 25 plus 7 equal 32 32 over 5 10 by 7 equal 70 and 70 plus 7 equal 77 over 7 the denominator doesn't change okay let's see the opposite that when we are going to convert from improper fraction to mixed number let's see the first exercise we have 15 over 4 we are going to make long division when we are going to convert from improper fraction to a mixed number we are going to make long division 15 divided by 4 15 is not in table 4 so we are going to write down table 4 up and down 1 times 4 4 2 times 4 8 3 times 4 12 4 times 4 16 huh? we which one is the closest here it's 3 excellent so we are going to write 3 up and 12 down subtract them it's a 3 okay do we have any other any other numbers to bring down no so this is the remainder 3 is the remainder then the equal of the division is the whole number and the remainder is the new numerator so i'm going to write it like this 3 and 3 4 the denominator doesn't change this is the equal and this is the remainder the whole number is the equal and the numerator is the remainder let's see another one 53 divided by 5 when i'm going to divide 53 by 5 i'm going to get 10 and the remainder will be 3 10 is the whole number and the 3 is the new numerator so i'm going to have 10 and the 3 fifth and the denominator doesn't change 81 divided by 9 81 divided by 9 equal 9 and I have no remainder so the remainder here is 0 so this is the whole number which is 9 and the new numerator is 0 but 0 divided by 9 equals 0 so we got 9 plus 0 which is 9 which is 9 okay next exercises 9 over 2 or 9 halves uh, 9 divided by 2 give me 4 and the remainder is 1 so 4 is the whole number and 1 is the new numerator and the denominator is the same 38 divided by 9 38 divided by 9 will give me 4 and the remainder is 2 so 4 is the whole number and 2 is the new numerator the denominator doesn't change 35 div divided by 6 it gives me 5 and the remainder is 5 so it's 5 and 5 over 6 or 5 and 5 6 okay okay let's move to another important note which is the fraction can be a whole number or integer if whole number means integer integer is a new name or another name for the whole number okay 
when the fraction can be a whole number when the numerator is a multiple of the denominator or the denominator is a factor of the numerator let's see an example here i have this fraction 81 over 9 or 81 ninths uh, here the numerator is a multiple of the denominator 81 is a multiple of 9 or 9 is a factor of 81 so when we have this form we can write this fraction as a whole number 81 divided by 9 equal 9 okay another important note that is the whole number is a fraction its denominator is 1 here 9 9 is a whole number can I write it as a fraction yes I can write it as a fraction by putting 1 as the denominator so 14 is 14 over 1 64 is 64 over 1 any number or any integer number I can put it as a fraction when I put 1 in the denominator Okay, let's see some exercise about that. Convert the following integers to improper fractions. I have here integers and I'm going to put them as a fraction. How can I make this? I'm going to multiply 3 by 7. 3 by 7 equal 21. This is the numerator. So I put 21 over 7. Okay, next one. 11 equal what over 1? Uh, who can tell me? We are going to multiply 11 by 1 equal 11. 11 by 1 equal 11. Or we can remember the note that any integers is the integers which is which its denominator is 1. Number C. 5 equal 15 over what? Again, we are going to multiply 5 by what equal 15? 5 by what equal 15? 3. Excellent. So the missing denominator here is Next one, 6 equal 6 over what? Excellent, 1. 10 equal 50 over what? 10 times what equal 50? 5, excellent. 7 equal what over 7? Again, I'm going to multiply 7 by 7 equal 49. So I'm going to have 49. Okay, that was our uh, part for this video. We are going to continue uh, also a fraction lesson uh, on the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.